Hello, good morning, viewers. As part of our lesson for construction, in today's tutorial, we want to construct a parallelogram LMNP such that angle PLM is 60 degrees, line LM is 7.5 centimeters, line MN is 5.8 centimeters. We are also asked to measure the distance between L to N, also a distance from P to M. As always, we are going to start with a rough sketch. A parallelogram looks somehow like this. Remember, all opposite sides are equal and parallel. The angle given to us is 60 degrees. Therefore, it must be either this one or this one because this is larger than 60 degrees. If this is 60 degrees, definitely this is going to be 120 because they added up to 180. And opposite angles are equal, so this is going to be 60 as well. This is 120. Okay, now let us concentrate on this 60 degrees right here. It says that angle PLM is 60, so this is P, L, and this is M. Therefore, this is going to be N. It says that the distance between L to M is 7.5 centimeters. Likewise, a distance between M to N is 5.8 centimeters. We want to measure the distance from L to N, this distance. We equally want to measure from P to M, this one. So this is roughly what we are going to construct. We are going to begin with the base, 7.5 centimeters. Then we construct this angle, 60 degrees. Then we move to this, 120 degrees. We equally measure the distance between M to N. You know, opposite sides are equal. We do the same to LP. So now let us go ahead and start. Let us start by constructing our base. The base is 7.5 centimeters. So this is my ruler. We're going to measure 7.5. So this is 7.5. Let me level that. This is L. This is M and this is 7.5 centimeters. Now we are going to construct angle 60 degrees at point L. So let me bring my compass. Compass, take it to point L. Use a convenient radius. So this is convenient for me. Now we are going to construct an arc to cut the line LM and extend it to the top just like this. Take the pointer to the point of intersection between our arc and line LM. Using the same radius, cut the previous arc. So what we are having here is angle 60 degrees from the point of intersection between the two arcs and point L. Let us take it to the point M and construct angle 120 degrees using the same radius. We are going to construct a semicircle to cut this line LM. Using the same radius, take the pointer to that point of intersection, which is this. Cut that semicircle, just like this. Take the pointer to that point of intersection again, which is this one. Then cut that semicircle just like this. Now this last point of intersection and point M is 120 degrees. But before extending the line, let us measure the distance between M to N, which is 5.8 centimeters. So let me bring my ruler. This is my ruler. Let me measure 5.8. So this is 5.8. Let me take away my ruler. Take the pointer to point L. Construct an arc to the top to indicate the distance between L to P. 
5.8 centimeters. Take the pointer to point M again because we have equal distance. Construct another arc to the top, just like this. Now take away the compass. So now let us extend the lengths of L, P, and M, N using our ruler. So this is 60 degrees, but we are going to extend it to that top arc, just like this. Do the same thing to the other side. This is 120, but we are going to extend it to the top, just like this. This is point P, and this is point N. Now let us use our ruler to connect point P and point N together. So this is our parallelogram that we are asked to construct. This is 5.8 centimeters, remember? So what we are asked to measure is the distance between L to N. I can use my ruler to measure that. So you can see that the distance between L to N is roughly 11.6. So let me write it. LM eleven point six centimeters. Now let us measure as well the distance between P to M. I can even use my compass to measure that. So this is the distance between them. Let me place it on my ruler to measure the distance. So it is roughly 6.7 6.7 centimeters and we have just answered this question and this is all i have for you today thank you for watching do have a nice day